Hey everyone, it's John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. And today I'm going to be doing a review. And this review, as you can see the title for it, you might be confused. Didn't you just do it? Well, no. This is a review of something that's identically named, yet completely different. By completely, I mean somewhat. Today I am at TGI Fridays, which just happened to be in my house. So I'm clearly not there. I am to go ordering from TGI Fridays. And TGI Fridays also came up with the same name item, the what they're calling Blazed and Glaze or Glazed and Blaze. I'm not sure which one it was. Let me look at the receipt. Blazed and Glazed. Just like Buffalo. Just like not Buffalo Wild Wings. Glazed and Glazed. Just like the Wingstop had their Glazed and Glazed uh, new flavoring. Um, it is chicken. So that's similar. The Blazed and Glazed bundle. It comes in this box. And what do you get? You get three chicken slammers. And also these queso fries. You see all the queso on there? They didn't give me the queso. Um, this bundle is supposed to come with three chicken slammers and queso fries, which I'm looking at the picture of them right now. They have like a white cheese sauce. They have a yellow sprinkling. They have bacon and they have green onion slices. I clearly don't have any of those. What they did give me is some coleslaw. Now that wasn't in the the bundle. But is coleslaw a replacement for queso and bacon? No, it is not. I also got some of their whiskey glaze sauce. Now the interesting thing about this bundle is that I don't think this is a new sauce. I think this is just their whiskey glazed sauce. Um, I think they're just using the blazed and glazed name for this specific bundle that you can buy. Interestingly enough, it does have a similar look to it. They sprinkled green stuff on it. Now this just looks like chopped parsley. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But you got this on a tiny, tiny bun in a big chicken strip with the whiskey glaze on it. It also looks like there's a spicy sauce as well. Maybe that's the blazed portion of it. Um, they also sprinkled some sesame street, sesame, not sesame streets, sesame seeds. I also see a chili flake. Let's give it a taste. I see something interesting being delivered. I should go grab it just to show you guys. I'll be right back. I'm back! What is this? This is a box that says Pepsi Maple Syrup Cola Cross IHOP. This is, I'm not sure how much of it is in here, and you'll have to wait for this video to come out to see what's exactly in here. But this is a cross collaboration between Pepsi and IHOP make a maple syrup flavor Pepsi and I want it but that's gonna come later surprise sneak peek though get back to the blazed and glazed chicken slammers
They're kind of messy, so I'm going to need one of these. Bigger, medium, or messier. Probably the big ribs. Fresh in your fingers. Alcohol free, pre moistened. When they are moist. There's no alcohol in it. The flap to open it up. Who doesn't love a nice, moist towelette? Refreshing. The only thing better than a moist towelette is a. Uh, I've been to a few uh, fancy restaurants in Chicago that will bring to your table a rolled up, warmed up, moist towel. If there's anything on your hands that's sticky at all, that warm, moist towel will definitely get it off. And it doesn't have any kind of like stink or smell to it typically. This one has some kind of refreshing or smell to it. Um, back to the TGI Friday's meal though. There is a little bit of spice to this. Um, there's actually several things on here. I don't know if you can see this, but there's like a powdery spice. There is a a dark liquidy sauce. And that's the whiskey sauce. Which um, I haven't really eaten a lot of TGI Fridays lately, but back in college, TGI Fridays was like a special treat. And this actually comes with a little cup of sauce here. This is the, that whiskey sauce. I have not seen it. When I went to the website, I checked. I don't think they're any longer like specifically saying Jack Daniels but when I was in college they first came out with this and it was the Jack Daniels sauce at TJ Fridays and I remember getting it at like one of those like small sirloin steaks that places like TJ Fridays love to sell there's like the cheaper cuts of steak but I really fell in love with that sauce and anytime I went to TJ Fridays with like a steak ribs, a burger. I always ordered off that Jack Daniels uh, sauce menu. And this sauce that's on here, very reminiscent. Maybe they're using a different uh, whiskey. Maybe they're still using Jack Daniels, just don't have the rights to use the name anymore. But it tastes the same. I love that whiskey sauce that TGI Fridays uses. I think you can even get it in the bottles these days. The bun I don't know if you hear this. Pretty dense. Could be softer. Could be more pillowy. That might be a thing that I would recommend to change on this. It's also very big compared to the chicken that you get inside. It looks big, but it's really popping out. You can see there's a, a excuse me, a big gap between the chicken and the bottom of the bun. The ratio from bun to chicken is kind of off. Um, this might just be better if you just got like chicken tenders. Um, I suppose the, the bun does help you separate your fingers from the sauce. Um, and then there's also the orangey strip of sauce on top as well. It has a very thick mayo-y like consistency. It's more savory than spicy. And then I also see like chili flakes. I don't see this. But that's like a chili flake. Um, sometimes they're chili seeds. Sometimes they're really red flakes. And those give it some spicy bite to it. Anytime you get those in there. There's also sesame seeds. There's also parsley chopped in there. Sesame seeds do actually add some flavor. Um, I think sesame oil is a little more flavorful than sesame seeds, but it's a similar flavor. Another bite. The chicken is crispy, crunchy. The 
the whiskey sauce is really good. And they've kind of like amped up the whiskey sauce with the spice that's on here. A little mayo on top. I don't really get a lot of flavor from that. When I taste it by itself, it's kind of like a savory, mayo-y type flavor. But compared to all the other sauces, it doesn't really contrast enough to really pick it up when you're eating it with everything else. I guess the biggest thing I'm impressed with here is, one, the whiskey sauce that I remember from my college years. They still got it, still tastes the same, it's still really good. And combining that with some spice, and I don't know if the spice that I'm getting is that powdery spice, or those big flakes of chili, or a combination of both, but I like it. The combo of the, the whiskey sauce and the spicy spice to add to this good combination the chicken crispy pretty big pieces uh what i don't like about it the bun is really big and dense throws off the the ratio if it was like a little bit pillowier a little squishier um then it probably would able to be the same size but when you're like chewing on it it kind of like squishes down condenses down this is so dense that really takes up a lot of real estate when you're trying to eat it um, overall I think it's good um, I don't know if they have the option of just buying these without the bun but if I were to go again and get something similar to this I would look and see if they do that because the chicken by itself I have no complaints. Um, chicken with the bun. Just want to get rid of the bun, really. And my other complaint is they didn't put the, the queso on my fries that I paid for. Um, I did get this uh, strawberry. What's it called? Boy! Strawberry slush with Red Bull. Um, it actually came like about this filled and it came with a can of Red Bull, so I poured the Red Bull in here. I haven't tasted it yet. There we go. Kind of tastes the strawberry mixed with Red Bull. Uh, the slush part, there's like ice right here. This is pretty much all liquid. Probably has to do with getting it delivered here, um, and then pouring liquid on top of what ice was left. Uh, tastes like Red Bull and strawberry. I'm not angry about it. I actually think it tastes pretty nice. A lot of people don't like the flavor of some energy drinks. I think original Red Bull is actually a, a decent flavor when mixed with other things. And all the other like different Red Bull flavors that I've tasted before, I've actually really liked. The one energy drink that I've tasted that really tasted awful is Rockstar. Um, it tastes like it's just like all vitamin E supplement flavor, really medicinal flavored. And uh, there's a little bit of that. You definitely taste like some of that vitamin E flavor from Red Bull, but it's not like overpoweringly vitamin E. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video where instead of queso fries, I got regular fries and coleslaw. Maybe someone was like, I need a queso fry. And then like coleslaw and fries coming up. Apparently their coleslaw sucks. I thought it was just the top pieces and all the sauce was at the bottom, but scoop to the bottom, the sauce and the coleslaw is not good. So I'm gonna enjoy the rest of these chicken tenders. 
I'm going to dip these fries in this uh, whiskey glaze sauce. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of my lunch here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this one, uh, although the Wingstop one that I did yesterday was only available till the 22nd, which is today, the uh, whiskey blazed and glazed bundle here from TGI Fridays is an Uber Eats exclusive, so you only order on Uber Eats. And I think it's good until May something, maybe May the 5th. So this video still might be coming out past that date because, again, I'm late on these all the time and I don't really put in the effort to put them out uh, before these things run out. That's just what I do. Anyway, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And until next time.